Today guys, we're back with another Grand RP video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to steal cars and how much money you can actually get from doing this. You can make up to $1.5 million from one vehicle. It's insane. So I hope you go on to enjoy the video. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and if you want to join the Frolics fam, the link to the Discord is down below in the description, along with the link to my own personal Discord if you guys wanted to suggest any videos or anything like that. So with that said, I hope you enjoy, and without further ado, let's get into it. Before we actually get into the video, big thanks to my boy Slim. He runs the Grand RP English YouTube channel. You guys should check it out. He does a bunch of streams on there and a bunch of giveaways for cars, cash, and stuff like that. So check it out, the link's down below. All right guys, to start things off, what you wanna do is head onto your phone and go over to the dark net right here. You can see there is a tab that says theft transport and you can earn up to 1.5 mil for stealing a car. So if you go in and click that, it will most likely say you can't steal a car because you need to get the skull tattoo on your face. So let's head on over to the tattoo parlor and get the tattoo. Once you've arrived at the tattoo parlor, you're going to have to remove all of your outer clothing. That means your jacket, your chain, your shoes, your pants, everything that you have on just so then you can get an actual tattoo. Then what you want to do is flex your e-muscle and talk to the guy and you want to go to face tattoos. It will be the very first tattoo that you see that pops up on your screen. It does cost $50,000, but trust me, it's worth it because you can make a lot of money from stealing cars in this game. So now that we got the tattoo, we have to head back over to the dark net and now we need to buy some things that'll help us find the vehicles a lot easier. So obviously pull your phone back up, head on over to the dark net, and then head on over to the illegal market. You're going to want to purchase a level three vehicle scanner and a lockpick set. You could obviously use a level one or a level two vehicle scanner, but they only scan a smaller distance. If you get the level three one, it doubles the distance that you could scan for the vehicle compared to the level one scanner. Trust me, it's worth it in the end. So far, you guys have spent about $102,000 getting the equipment and stuff you need to actually steal these vehicles. But don't worry, it's worth it in the end. So after you purchase the lockpick set and obviously the vehicle scanner, you're going to want to head over to the post office and pick it up. All right, so we're at the post office now. So I'm just going to head over to this guy, talk to him and grab the stuff that I need. Now that I got the stuff, what you want to do is head onto your phone again and start searching for a vehicle to steal. So obviously head on over to the dark net and then go to theft transport. You click take an order and it'll tell you the car to steal. If you don't want to steal that car, take another hijacking order. We found a McLaren P1, which is perfect. Next thing we're going to do is take the vehicle scanner and put it in slot number one. The reason why is so we could just click one on our keyboard and it'll scan the entire area around us. And once you actually start to find the vehicle, it'll say that the vehicle has been found within the radius and you'll also hear like this weird sound that'll go off. So make sure you're listening closely and watching what the vehicle scanner says when you're looking for the vehicle. So let's drive around the city and try to find this P1. After driving for about a few minutes, it said it found the transport in the area and it was parked on the sidewalk right here. So what you want to do is just pull right up next to it, hop out, and then head on over to it, flex your G muscle on it, and hack the control system. Now, as soon as you do this, you will get stars right away, which sucks, unless you're wearing a mask. I'm not 100% sure if you'll still get them if you're wearing a mask. If you kill someone when you're wearing a mask, you don't get stars. I'm not sure if it's the exact same with theft transport or not. But once you do that, you're gonna start hacking the control system. At this point, LSPD, FIB, and SAHP will all get messages saying that a vehicle is being stolen and they'll be able to track it and start chasing you. It does take about a minute or two minutes to actually steal the vehicle and get inside of it. And once you do that, you have to drive around for 20 minutes total until you get paid and the vehicle theft is successful. Now that we finally have the car, all you want to do is just drive around and be careful because LSPD and FIB, like I said, are able to track it. They could set up barricades on a road and be ready for you if they can predict the location that you're going to. Like it's, let's say you're driving up north on the highway and they track you, they're going to predict that you'll probably just drive around the entire city. So maybe they'll get units headed on over to another highway that you're going to pass by, set up road barricades and guys with guns. And then the second you arrive on scene, they will aim at you, tell you to get out of the car. And if you refuse, they will open open fire. So you got to be hella careful doing this because there will be a chance that you can go to jail and not get any money from this vehicle. But recently, a lot of the state orgs honestly haven't been going after too many stolen vehicles. So if you do it right now, there's a very good chance you'll actually just successfully steal the vehicle and not a single cop will come after you, which is exactly what happened to me. Now, obviously, this is an RP server. There are a lot of rules in this server, and there is a couple rules that you need to make sure you follow if you are going to be stealing vehicles. The very first thing is a simple RP rule. If, let's say, you are trying to steal a vehicle, you find the vehicle, and the person who owns the vehicle is sitting inside their car, chilling. 
you cannot just walk up to them, shoot them in the face, and take the vehicle. There has to be some sort of RP that goes along with it. You could walk up to them and be like, hey, yo, I love your car. I want to buy this car. Do you think you'd be able to let me take it for a test drive really quickly? And if they say yes, they will then hand the keys over to you, take it for a spin, then head to a secure location and start stealing it. The person will be really pissed off, but you know, you could drop them out of the vehicle and then go and steal it. And then boom, there you go. Another thing is do not car ram. If you car ram a vehicle that you are trying to steal and somebody catches you on body cam doing it, you will get in a lot of trouble. Also, do not steal it from unscripted green zones. A lot of people don't even know what these are. There are certain areas on the map that are technically green zones that you can't steal at. For example, the post office is an unscripted green zone. If a vehicle is parked there that you're trying to steal and you go up to it and try stealing it, you will get into a lot of trouble because it is an unscripted green zone and you will be sent to admin jail. So make sure you guys know what you're doing before you actually do this. But if you see a car that's just parked on the side of the road and that's the one you need to steal, exactly what happened to me, hop in it, start stealing it, and get the hell out of there. Another rule is GTA driving. In real life, would you actually take a McLaren P1, drive it to the top of a mountain, and if you see a cop, would you drive off the side of the mountain? Obviously not. That is GTA driving, because in GTA 5, you know, you could do whatever the hell you want. You drive to the top of a mountain and launch off the side of it and you'll be completely fine. But this is an RP city, so if you do that, you will get into a lot of trouble for that. And if somebody catches you on body cam doing it, then obviously you're going to go to admin jail. So what I would suggest is just drive around like you normally do. Take highways, and if you see cops chasing you, try to get the hell away from them. Anyways, we've gone over a few of those rules, and if you need more information on them, you could find them in the Grand RP Discord, which I'll link down below in the description. So now that we've gone over all the rules, now you know what to do. So drive the car around, and now you have to wait 20 minutes, and then you will successfully steal the vehicle. Now it all depends on what the vehicle is. So for example, this McLaren P1 has a state value of $7 million, which is insane. You will get 5% of whatever the vehicle is worth. This vehicle, I will get $350,000 for stealing and it only takes 20 minutes, which is insane. Now, it could take longer. It depends how long it takes you to find the vehicle, but once you find it, 20 minutes later, if you successfully steal it, you will get the money. So if the vehicle you're stealing is a rat truck or something like that, you're not going to get any money. You'll get a couple hundred bucks. And if you could steal something expensive, like the Bugatti La Voitre Noir, you will be paid out so much money because that car's state value is $30 million. You will make 1.5 mil if you could successfully steal that car. Like I said earlier, when you go onto the dark net and take an order for an auto transport, just make sure you keep clicking it until you find a good vehicle. Sometimes there may not be any good ones available, so maybe just wait a little bit until you find one that, you know, is worth a lot of money. So like I said, that M4, that wasn't worth a lot of money. It was maybe worth like 2 million, I think. So if I were to successfully steal it, I'd only get like 100K, I believe, which honestly isn't that bad. If you're new to the game, that's still pretty decent. But if I find something like the Bugatti La Voitre Noir, that's 1.5 mil. An Aston Martin Vulcan, I think that's like 500k, or actually no, that's like a million dollars, I think, which is just insane. Bugatti Belay, that's another million dollars right there. So it all depends on the vehicle you're stealing. So just make sure you know how much cars are worth, and then you can make a lot of money. I'm about to complete this vehicle theft, which is awesome. The way that you could tell you completed it is the car will just disappear, and you will be handed a bunch of money in cash. So take a look at the screen, and take a look in the top right corner. Look Look at my money, boom, $350,000. Vehicle successfully stolen. Now I'm just stuck on a road here. So obviously you can call a taxi or something like that, or you know, just close the game and respawn in somewhere else. And then boom, you successfully stolen the vehicle, which is awesome for you because you just made a ton of money in a very short amount of time. 350K in like half an hour is really, really good. You make around that amount of money if you own one of the best businesses in the game, which is insane. So if you can consistently steal cars, you guys can make bank. And obviously, if you guys do want to see any more Grand RP tutorial videos just like this one, be sure to comment them down below and obviously suggest them in my Discord, which is also linked down below in the video suggestions tab. And maybe you'll see the videos up in the next couple of of days or maybe in a week. Anyways, hopefully this helped you guys out. If you wanted to make a bunch of money in Grand RP and didn't know how, you could do this starting at level one and make bank. Anyways, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to take a look at the description, join the discords, join the server. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the next video.